inside of me just being like fuck this job and don't go back I just keep thinking about bills should that be my motivation though like I don't feel like it's enough last weekend I literally almost walked out but the reason why I didn't was because I kept like I calmed myself down but I was thinking about bills and how I need the money but at the same time, I just can't imagine me going back to driving Uber. If I'm not gonna go back to driving Uber, should I actually give myself the opportunity to focus on just like doing YouTube and making videos? Just trying not to cry because I just really don't wanna fucking go there. And like, I'm not trying to be at work just like, I haven't even been getting dressed. I don't feel like myself. It's crazy because like my YouTube blew up. Then this shit happened at work where she pissed me off. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I should have walked out that day. I'm trying not to like let this get the best of me, but like this job, I feel like the only reason why I'm still here is because I'm doing it for other people. It's really getting to me because I'm noticing like this is getting harder and harder. I feel like I'm a leader. So authority has just always been really hard for me. And then especially authority from a bitch. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I caught up this morning at like seven after he cooked in moons. Food dispenser went off. And then I kind of started getting ready for work. Hence the outfit. Work started at 8.30. I left the house at like, I left the house like an hour ago maybe. I was first like, okay, I'm just gonna tell them I overslept and just get there after I buy eye drops. And everywhere I was going didn't have eye drops. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to work. <laughs> I don't think I'm going back to work ever is basically what I'm saying. And getting dressed this morning and putting this outfit on, I just felt, I felt like I can't do it anymore. The word on my vision board for this year was thrive. And how am I gonna thrive if I'm still doing something that makes me feel complacent? What I need is something bigger than what I'm giving myself. The only thing that I did to my hair was I wet it in the shower, put the lavender spray, and I put fenugreek spray on my scalp. Like it's detangling itself pretty much. I'm gonna put some more, a little bit, spread some water. Just a little bit. So I just take a little bit more and I'm putting it on the ends. 
me and put some back. I'm putting it, and now I'm just gonna massage. But did you see how easy that was? It's like literally detangling itself. Like my fingers are just gliding. It's literally just, okay, look at this. Just going through. Okay, there's a knot there. And it's just gliding through. Oh yeah, I forgot to sit my black soap out, so I'm gonna have to do that. It through this whole section. But yeah, I haven't done this fenugreek paste in a minute and I realized that I never shared it with y'all. So, this, I absolutely love this blow dryer. I got off Amazon, so I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, I love, I don't know if I'm going to flat iron my hair tonight or do it in the morning when I wake up but either way I'm blow drying my hair right now I'm also sitting on my couch cushion right now I use this frizz ease and I use it's a 10 I use both of these together so far it's been working this method that I've been doing so I'm just gonna keep doing it this is gonna be the first time that I'm blow drying my hair and straightening it like a day between because usually I blow dry my hair and then I end up waiting like a whole week until I straighten it okay so now I think I added enough of that I'm just gonna add a little bit more serum and then I'm gonna Twist that up, uh, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to this top part. Oh. <sighs> so. Alright, so now we're gonna roll this up. I think I'm just gonna go on the hot setting because I'm not trying to really waste time right now. I'm trying to get her done. This is a straightener that I have. I decided to get Timo straightener after I experienced the blow dryer. I can't say that I hate it, 
for I love it it's good it's better than any of the other ones that I've tried while being natural my hair still gets but like look at that blow dry it's still so good you know but yeah when I go to sleep tonight I'm still gonna roll it in four I don't really be trying to keep my hair like straight I be trying to go for like a blowed out look like the roller set oh shit i'm gonna have to take this whole now off because okay so i'm not gonna lie to you guys right now but the fact that my nail is like fucked up and pulling my like my hair so i just had to like cut it down and i don't want to lose my length because i've already done a lot like I've been wearing this dip powder on my nails for like I've probably been doing it for like two months now and the length of my nails have like have gotten pretty good like I like the length of my nails and they're only going up from here so now I'm kind of feeling like today needs to be a spa day like I need to do my nails because one thing's for show but right now this is kind of urgent and like my hair doesn't look bad but like it's not gonna stay looking like this you know like right now it looks like oh like why are you even gonna fly in your hair you're doing too much and it don't be looking like this the whole time like it just gets poofier and poofier but yeah i'm so serious about postponing my day right now i cut majority of it down then i filed it down so it's not like lifting so i think i can okay let's be cool on that let's not do that no more because that's where i'm getting fucked up it's on 400 i'm not gonna put anything else on it because i already put my heat protectant on there That's slow motion, it's so anxious, bitch. <laughs> battery is dying like i need another battery and i don't know what the fuck happened to my battery like i have no idea i just wanted to show you guys what my hair is looking like because i charged my battery a little bit but i'm gonna let it charge some more But I was debating on if I'm gonna curl it because I'm not about to go outside with my hair straight because it's not gonna it's not gonna stay like this anyways. Okay, that one came out better. Okay. The backs are falling, so I'm going to redo them. So I put a little coconut oil with fenugreek on my hair. Because like, even though I don't want it to be weighed down with oil, I want it to give off the shine. So I just put a little bit on each section. Okay, and I'm just rolling it towards the front of my face. This is what I'm going to be looking like for the rest of the day. I just hate sleeping with these, like, at the front of my head. 
because I haven't figured out a better way to sleep with them that isn't uncomfortable. Since I haven't been outside in like over almost a week, I mean, I've moved my car, but I haven't like been anywhere for real besides like when I went to food for less. I think I just need to get outside. So I'm gonna go thrifting. Now I'm not forcing myself to get anything, but if I see something that's really cute, and I can use the fabric to make something else, and I'm gonna get it. If I don't, then I'm not gonna force it. So, so this is what my hair is looking like now that it fell. But you see how like it's like straighter. Like when I took it out the blow dry, it was just looking defined but like rough. This is like straight. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this shirt because I need to fix this part. But yeah, I was thinking of wearing my camo my camo dunks that's why i put this shirt on see <sighs> anyways so i think that maybe i'll tell you guys in the car it's kind of like misty outside like cloudy and misty still still giving so today when i was um getting oh i know exactly what way i'm going right now so today when i was getting when i got up in the morning i was kind of feeling like i didn't want to go again and i don't know if it's because it's june gloom like i don't know what's going on but like i i, I was like really in my head about wearing my stuff now i've been in like this kind of depressive state and i want to say it has a lot to do with like my job but i was like in this depressive state and um like i wasn't looking my like myself I wasn't looking up to par like i was not feeling like myself like none of that this morning when i got up like i was kind of just like oh like i don't feel like getting dressed like i don't want to go outside like and i kind of felt myself moving back into just being in the house all the fucking time that's why when I was getting dressed I was like yeah I think I just need to go outside because sometimes I can get so in my bubble about like things that I need to get done that I overwhelm myself with like the most simplest things and it's not even really that deep but it's just like because I'm so in my head about it that I overthink it so much that I procrastinate on getting shit done and I felt like that's exactly what I was starting to do was I was starting to get in my head a lot and I felt like I was about to be in the house. But yeah, so I'm um, on my way. I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get there. Like even though I look gorgeous right now, like look at my fucking hair, bitch. Be my love, I want you be my love, want you be my love. Hey now, baby, want you be my love. Dance to the songs of my feet, green eyes and be me. Paint the world, pussy paint. So literally, it's about to be packed as fuck in there. The whole lot in the front was full, except for the handicap, and I don't have a handicap placard, so. And then this spot that I'm in was the only one that was open, but the two behind me opened up and then one on the side. So it's people in here on a Monday. I guess everybody had this idea to go thrifting on a Monday morning. This lady got bags. She got bags, okay? Also, when I got dressed this morning, I was trying not to think too much about it. Like, I was trying to just do it, just do it. So that way, and I put on like what made me feel comfortable, which was everything that I have on right now. All right, men's shirt. I don't know how to. Is that a toothpaste stage? That's one thing about their stores, like you cannot waste your time in here. You have to go to the for straight what you want. No. Oh, 
go like this. I kind of do. Okay, I'm gonna hold this. So I got done in the men's shirts section and I got four shirts. I don't know if I'm gonna try them on, but I found this blazer and it's fucking pink corduroy. So I was thinking of making like a skirt with it and a top or pants possibly, but I'm not sure. Then I fucking found this, which looks regular, nothing special until Look at the bottom. Bitch. What? There's a stain on it. But like, do I really care? Because what? Do you see that? I'm going to show you guys what I found. There's a part of me that kind of feels like I'm done. Because now I'm like ready to sew. Ready to make some stuff. I don't know. if I really feel like trying things on in here because it's, it's kind of packed. I'm not gonna lie, it's like, there are a lot of people in here. It's not that bad because I'm still walking down the aisles by myself. Sometimes you literally just see things in the thrift store that's not even cute, but the fabric is. Okay. I think I'm kind of getting carried away. around not holding the camera but talking to myself because I talk to myself all the time thank you no more bags okay oh bitch this motherfucking line. Poor bitch. This line is legit insane. Fucking crazy. I do want to check. Bitch, not J Lo. Another diamond up in here, bitch. <laughs> My love. I gotta get out of here because it's it's getting real and I cannot. We are the world, the escalators, the valley. I can see the lonely rain in the corner. Okay, I got to go. It's so good. You guys can't see it because it's so bright, but it's so good. Mmm. So fucking good. Look at my hair. It still looks really good. Like, it didn't poof up. Maybe it's because it's June. I don't know. This is the first time I also fly in my hair right after blow drying usually i wait like a whole week i don't know what none of this like thrifted stuff is about to look like but <sighs> after i try it on i'm gonna wash clothes and clean up i like the fabric and i like how it's like flowy so it's kind of like giving me dress tees another shirt but i was thinking about some possible pants with this because they're long sleeve and it's hella fabric so i was thinking about making pants out of this and because it's also long sleeve but yeah i was thinking about like a skirt and the top with this like 
might be cute. But I just like the fabric because it's like a corduroy. Giving 90s. Oh, it actually, bitch, what? It got a good fit on it. But yeah, I was thinking about making this into two pieces, like a skirt, changing the top completely off. I just really like the fabric. Again, it's corduroy. I don't know, there's a part of me that really wants to make pants out of this and a top if I can get it, because look at how long these sleeves are. Like this shit is big as fuck. It's like hella long. I like a reddish pink. And then like it's paisley, like bitch. Like I could make a whole ass, like make this whole thing into a skirt. And then this be all the way at the bottom in the front. I just wanna recreate this. And then use the sleeves to literally make a fucking top. Do you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Get down, I'm